And welcome to Briglington Station. We are looking for Mr. Robinson. Where's he at? If you haven't done so, give the video some likes, add it to your favorites. There's nothing up. Oh, postal bags. Railway post bags. Nothing. Where is this guy? Is that you, Mr. Robin? Angry passenger. Why are you so angry? Why so angry? This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. Hmm, why is he so angry? Let's see what we got here. Up. Oh, work clothes. He's late for work. Cheap tickets, or he's late for something. He is married. What did we miss? Clearly missed something. Up oh, here we go. Rough skin. So he works in the field. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? Concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Last night, I were on the train, as usual, with my colleague, heading home. Then along came this ridiculous ticket inspector, who started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train, and he was extremely rude about it. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared. But I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt about it. And then, to top it all, the ticket inspector pushed everyone else out too. Except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. Clearly there was like a robbery on that train of some sort. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Goodbye, sir. This guy's a racist. This guy's a goddamn racist. There's Mr. Robinson. Good day to you, sir. Good day. To whom am I speaking? My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me. <laughs> but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. Oh, you don't talk shit to Sherlock, okay? Let's see what we got here. Profile. Double chin. Australian hat. That wasn't even at the hat. Expensive clothes. Pinky ring. What is this? Fancy shoes. You must be Mr. Robinson, is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation of the disappearing train. It would help if you could answer my questions. Ah, well, all right. I have nothing to hide. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Yes, it was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention, but I was very optimistic about the director's board who were traveling on the train last night. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazis company? 
It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. Hmm. Hmm. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. It could change the world we live in. And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. I am a humanitarian, you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. What kind of prototype is this? Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you traveling alongside your prototype? Yes, I was. But I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received a telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed, so I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot. <laughs> you will pay for it. I will sue you. This guy is the so ticket sour, man. The forced all the passengers from the train, except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean Company. And the plot thickens. Where's this guy? What? Where was this ticket master? He just disappeared out of thin air. I will air. not move from here until I receive my refund. There he is. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Let's profile this guy first, shall we? He's young. So young and reckless, right? Careless, clean clothes. Cares about his appearance. He's very new to his station master position. Ink smudges. I wonder what's the importance of that. Station master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night, but people do not usually pay much attention to the regulations, you see. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must- Yes, yes, thank you. I understand. <laughs> Sherlock's like, I don't give a shit, man. Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did, and I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. You're a liar. You're a goddamn liar. Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. Your age and your lack of confidence in your position are quite apparent. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Ah, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. It was not his right to do so. He was very rude. 
And then, later on, I received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station, the next stop along the line. Looks like we're going to Chesterfield after this, guys. What did the telegram say? Well, that was the peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Time out, time out, time out. Why is it asking us to go into this view? Up, up. What is this document that's headed? The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. A significant sum. How much is it for? Doesn't even have a value on it. Anyway. Let us go. Let's check our deductions real quick. Alright. What do we have here, right? Train vanished with people. Special wagon. There's a correlation there. Or not. Alright, there's that. Alright, we'll check that out later, right? Whoops, I didn't mean to exit out. No? Just for time, master reports. Alright, nothing there. And we are moving on, it looks like. Nobody Don't touch else, anything, right? Please. Don't tell me what to do. I'll touch everything. Up. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message. Which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. But wait, why was the insurance policy hidden there, you know? It was, I don't know, it's like in one of those spots that you don't just lose it. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. <laughs> station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. By going through all his shit, right? Where's this luggage room at? It's a scandal! An abs- Luggage room... Luggage room... Wait, what? Up oh, here we go. Here we go. This grip sack belongs to... Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. How hard can this be? Wait, you know what? Let's start here, right? Line that up there. Wait. What? Wait, 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 go back. Bring this down. This goes down. I can't see what this one does. Son of a bitch. No, this is clearly not right.
clearly not right here. Wait, wait, wait. This looks a lot more accurate, right? Kind of. Bam! Progress. And we're in there. What is this? What's this contract here? Look, Watson. A bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. An exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. He's not responsible for any problems that may arise within the prototype after the purchase. So this is like a sham, pretty much. Because there's definitely going to be problems with it, right? Yet another exclusive sales... Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet again. And again, he's not responsible for any of the problems that may arise. Another Yet exclusive. Another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. He's selling to multiple people here. Another exclusive another contract. Exclu Look at that. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. This guy's scamming people, clearly. Let's go have words with Mr. Robinson again, shall we? I will not move from here until I receive my refund. Or I guess we don't have words with him yet. Don't touch anything, please. Alright. In that case, looks like we are going to... Where's that station? Chesterfield Station. But, before we do that, that is going to be the end of this part. Give the video some likes, add it to your favorites, share it, all that good stuff. Next part coming up soon.